Good morning. After a very stressful drive, we are here at Cardiff Castle. We have a very big day planned. This will probably be broken up into multiple vlogs for the sake of time. But our goal is to see Cardiff Castle for a few hours, then go to Coke Castle or Castle Coke, Castle Koch. I'm not sure how to say it. We'll be there for a couple of hours. And then if we have time, we'll hit St. Fagan's uh, Living History Museum. And then we come back to Cardiff Castle at 9 o'clock tonight for a Dark Wales ghost tour. This place is huge. We're gonna to try to see it as much as we can. Unfortunately, we found out that the clock tower or the bell tower, I don't remember which it's called, is actually only opened on weekends, I believe she said. So we're not going in there today, but I believe we're gonna get in there tonight for the ghost tour. So that's cool. As Billy already said, there's so much to see here. There's almost 2,000 years of history from the Roman occupation to the Norman conquest up through World War II when they were using the castle walls alongside air raid shelters during the bombings. It's fascinating. I hope we get to cram it all in. There is an audio tour here, but you have to scan this little guy on the front of the little book that they give you and then download it to your phone to play it. We could do that, but it would cost us $10 to turn our phones on to download it. So for now, we're just gonna go explore and hope that there's some information boards that we can read along the way. When you're walking along up here, if you notice the drain pipes, they all have different animal faces on them, which is pretty cool. Definitely take a look if you're up here. This keep was a shell keep, which means there was never a roof on top of this building. It was just really an outer wall that inner buildings could be built up against. In the Civil War, it was held by both the King's people and Cromwell at different points in time, but eventually it was destroyed beyond repair, and there lay its ruin. Um, I'm guessing when the third Marquess of Butte built his house or was granted this or whatever we haven't really gotten to the history of that yet then maybe he kind of did some repairs on this i'm not sure this board doesn't say i'm sure it's in that blasted audio guide that we haven't downloaded yet <laughs> also in the interior walls you'll notice a bunch of holes these are known as put logs which are places where you can put logs to build buildings 
There were some rooms built into the walls of the shell keep, like this one. This would have been part of the main accommodations for the lord of this castle. Again, everything was destroyed during the Civil War. The floors in this room were not put in until the 1920s by the fourth Marquess of Butte. And also, your own private toilet. way out in the distance that will not show up on camera is the next castle that we're going to go see, which is so very different from the one that we're currently in. The thing that I find incredible is that the parkland of this castle goes way out to that one. That's, that castle is just beyond where the parkland of this estate ended. That's a lot of land. It's a lot of land. Uh, there's a, an, designer, architect, architect. builder, architect, uh, who designed the clock tower here, also designed the restoration of Castle Koch, which is where we're going next. So that's kind of a, a neat connection. That's pretty much it for this part. I think, um, so a lot of the big other parts of the castle you have to pay for a separate tour ticket. I know that the World War II air raid shelters are included with the general admission, so we're, I think we're probably going to go find those and then see how much time we have left and maybe do a tour of the big house. a fascinating part of the castle because it's, it's such a drastic difference from the Norman keep that you're in to the World War II air raid shelters that were put in. Thankfully the, uh, I think it was the fourth Marquess of Butte, could be the fifth, I'm not sure, agreed to let the city do this. Hundreds of people would have sheltered here during air raids and those types of things and it's just a history loving heart just finds it incredible. We entered the World War II air raid shelters over here. 
then we walked through them all the way around till we came out right here we're up on the battlements now so i guess we're just gonna walk that back around the other way also the sun is out right now and it feels really good it's warmer than it was yesterday it feels phenomenal and one more thing just on the other side of this wall is butte park which was a bunch of land that the marcos of butte then gave to the city to turn into a parkland for the people instead of keeping it all to himself and it's gorgeous and it's just over this wall and hopefully later today while we're waiting for the dark whales tour to start we're gonna go check that out too i lied we started way over here, came all the way around where we were standing, and came out over there at that tower. We went ahead and bought tickets for the 12 o'clock house tour. We're gonna do that in a few minutes. Also, the way that the grounds are set up, you can kind of like walk through from the park on one side out to the street on the other, and you don't have to pay to get into that. But they do ask for you to show your tickets if you wanna get in to see the castle or the uh, bunkers and those kinds of things. So it's kind of like a weird half open system. The other part is that if you wanna get into the clock tower or the house or another like film thing that they have, that's all extra, so be prepared for that as well. Thank you. 
tour is worth it. We misunderstood a little bit. Let me clarify. You can go into the big house and see a couple of the rooms. With the general admission ticket. With the general admission ticket. However, if you pay the four pounds extra per person, then you get a smaller tour of some of the other really incredible ornate rooms. Phenomenal. Worth it. Worth every penny. Now we're going to grab uh, food here at the little cafe they have in the castle mm -hmm. grounds and uh, head on to the next. Probably get on the road. Um, also, our tour guide's name is Jody. He was phenomenal. He said the name of the next place that we're going, Castel Koch. That's how you say it. Uh, that's where we're going next. And then after that, wasting some time until we come back here for the Dark Whales tour, which I'm super excited about. Um, Me too. I keep trying to tell him, it's not just ghost stories and spooky tales. You also get to walk around the castle at night, which is pretty cool. The Dark Whales tour will probably be its own vlog, more than likely. Uh, so just a heads up it will be this vlog and then Castel Koch and then the Dark Whales tour so it's coming I promise just bear with my slow editing thank you